I'm Peter Drury, and it's my chance to say that it is an absolute delight to have Jim Beglin beside me. Hi, Peter. It's great to be here. So, Jim, tell me this. Who are you looking for in particular here? The no-nonsense Benedict Hubedes. A centre-back by trade, but he's shown the versatility to look comfortable at full-back too. An organiser and, and fully paid-up member of the, uh, the commitment club. <laughs> I wonder whether that has anything to do with you being a defender once upon a time, Jim. It's a busy front line, uh, lots of movement. And is that working for you? Well, not really. To be honest, I, I'm not a great fan of taking goal potential away from the penalty box. Rightless. Decent progress down the left. Ada. That's a case of crossing and hope, and unless they provide some more options, it'll be more missed than hit. Midway through the first half, and there's an impotence about this game that's causing me concern, and, and probably most of the stadium too. Let's just hope that by the end, it'll have been forgotten. He's offering an apology for that. He needed to deliver a better ball. Gets it back. Good defending there. They've slammed the door in the faces of the opposition. Looks to thread it through. That'll be a throw. come flying in no complaints about that challenge robust but fair and it's Farfan ball swung in cut out in the nick of time and that's not the cross he had in mind plays a clever pass clears it out of harm's way Played it short. It's come loose. Rightless. Knocks it away. Disappointing finish in the end. Probably not his best option. I think goalkeepers are, are normally happy for players to have a, a go from there. For Luca, back to the keeper. Keeper's got good distance on that. And he's made certain that won't get through. And there's the end of the first half. So we reach the halfway point. So they head in, no further forward. The score here still nil-nil. Here we go again. At least there's always a plus side to a scoreless half. Defences are doing what they should, and it's going to take good imagination to break the deadlock here. Spoon forward. Gets it back. Milosevic. out on the left now and he has been fouled there loose ball who's going to get there Lundusovic 
that had to be more accurate. Eter. Chip through. Long shell pass, that's the message there. Tries a through ball. A chance! Well, the ball's come loose and the chase is on. Chorluka pumps it upfield. Oh, that's clearly not what he wanted to do. Looks like a good ball through. That is wayward. Yeah, the first touch was the thing to pick out there. That was really nice, but what followed was a big disappointment, and you'll know now what he needs to work on. That's a poor kick by the keeper, he's just given it straight back. Promising, but uh, eventually thwarted without doing any harm. And it's Yunuzovic. Lobs it in gently. From behind for a goal kick. Gets his foot in there. Looks to slip it through. Away from immediate danger. Rybus tries the route one option. Yuzovic. It's intriguingly poised for me, and players are thinking, well, should we stay or, or should we go? I'd like to think fortune favours the brave. And I'm urging them to, to be bold and go for it. Oh, no question, that's a foul. They've managed to get it away. Farfan battles to win it back. Farfan is moving impossible to wrestle off the ball. Yunuzovic tries a long pass towards the front. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Gel Mario. Added time is up, and there goes the whistle. And stalemate. One, if not for fans, then perhaps for coaches. Satisfied by organisation and solidity. Little cutting edge at either end, and it finishes nil-nil.